Thank you for the chance to meet with you. Disclosures. I have travel expense reimbursement from ProCaps. Dr. Scaff is Alcan Consultant and royalties from Alcan and ASICO. Our institution has a cataract surgery fellowship program since 2003. And actually, we've trained 28 ophthalmologists from different countries. We want to share with you our experience in transferring skills using the ultrasonic blade as our main instrument. Definitely, the fracture is essential in the FACO procedure. A proper fracture improves the learning curve. It makes it easier, safer, and faster. Easier, considering that the cut of the ultrasonic blade through the lens is like an electric knife through a chocolate bar. Safer, since a good fracture reduces the complications, and faster, since once the trainee learns to fracture, the other steps of the procedure just flows. The ultrasonic blade can be used in almost all types of cataracts, from two or more, and very hard ones, including knee runs. Also in cases such as Argentinian flag, polar cataracts, and pseudo-exfoliation, among others. This is the Ultra Chopper, as Kaf said. This is the Ultra Chopper, this is the divider, this is the sustainer, the manipulator, and the pre-chopper. In this diagram, you can see the, very, the measures of the Ultra Chopper and how safe it is with the lens. In this video, we're going to see, we're going to see the Ultra Chopper in action. First, the divide and conquer technique with the Ultra Chopper. This is a cataract grade 3 to 4. In this case, we fracture the nucleus using the divider in our left hand. We make the first groove using the power with a 50 power. Then the blade is placed in a very perpendicular way. We do not have to reach the periphery. Once we acquire the proper depth, we divide the nucleus first into two halves, then four, six, or eight. That depends upon the surgeon. In this case, that's a cataract that's soft, we use the divisor in the left hand. When we have cardiac cataracts, we use the sustainer. In this very hard cataract, we recommend to make a, first a pit in the center with the Akahashi's gobble tip in order to weaken the nucleus. We then introduce the sustainer and we place it around the nucleus in order to hold it. Afterward, we lift the nucleus and we fracture it in as many parts as we want. This technique enables us to fracture a very hard nucleus using very low amounts of energy. If the cataract is not so hard, you can skip the pit. Afterwards, Dr. Scaff developed the anti-blockage surgery technique. This technique helps the beginner surgeon. Here you can see the movement of the ultrasonic blade in the center of the nucleus to make the groove prior the hydro dissection. In this way, the beginner surgeon will work in a more stable lens and also it allows that the fluid used in the hydro dissection just flows through this space, just adding more safety for the procedure. In this live surgery, you can see the anti-blockage technique. The groove at the center and then the hydro dissection using tripan blue to see, you can see now the fluid with the hydro, the tripan blue flowing in the center. This technique is also useful in cases of polar cataracts, dense capsular opacities, and small pupils. In cases of Argentinian flag, the ultra chopper can also be used, in this case with the divider. Dr. Alan Crandall in last year that he won the Academy of the Best video, he demonstrated using the Mayagi system that the sonil did not suffer any stress using the ultra chopper. We can conclude that the use of the ultra chopper for the fracture has been really useful in the training of ophthalmologists in the cataract surgery procedure since it's safe, easy to use, and shortens the learning curve as well. The use of the ultrasonic blade for the fracture in the different types of cataracts is reproducible and predictable. 
we really think we should prepare our ophthalmologists to deal with surgical skills and not just with technology. Thank you.